Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you a game that I played with the Defiance Matilda. This is a tier 5 British premium medium tank with preferential matchmaking. The game I'm playing is a standard battle on mines with tier 5 as the top tier and one artillery on each team. For this game my tank is equipped with improved ventilation, an enhanced gun laying drive and coated optics. And I'm using a British crew which has 5 crew skills and perks. I've got some pretty good matchmaking this game with only a few tier 5s, so I'm going to start off playing a little on the aggressive side and try to take the middle. Now right off the start I noticed that the enemy didn't send their heavy tanks to the middle area at all, so that really limits the amount of tough targets I'm going to have to contest up here, and this will give me some ideal opportunities here to get shots from the center point on the map which has good vantage points over most of it. I was just about to reposition here and start dealing with the heavy tank force pushing towards our base. I get to spot out the enemy artillery just as I'm leaving and that's a very convenient tank to take out at this stage. I find that the Defiance can struggle against even tier 5 heavy tanks, so I've switched my APCR shells here since I know there's a big group of them to deal with. Unfortunately the enemy is making some aggressive progress here a lot faster than I can wear them down. And they're not even flinching to stop their progress with all my shots raining down on them. One thing about the Defiance is that you shoot so fast so you're constantly focusing on your gun. So in a situation like this you end up ignoring the tactical situation almost entirely. And so I was completely unprepared when that tank destroyer snuck up on me. I'm the only one left here now and the enemy still has four top tier heavy tanks. This is not going to be easy. This is pretty hilarious, the KB-1S snapshots an HE shell that misses me, but still manages to deal 18 damage from the shot just hitting beside my tank like an artillery shell. I've gotta try and reset the timer on my base here so that I can amount some kind of final stand. Unfortunately, that T-14's at a pretty great angle there, so that's hard to deal damage on. That tank wreckage saves my life there, blocking the KV-1 shot. With so many enemies on low hit points here, there's some great opportunities. 
because one good shot here short of being able to take out that light tank. Even if I had managed to take him out though, I was running low on APCR shells, and it's very unlikely I would have been able to deal with those three tier 5 heavy tanks. And I was running low on ammunition, so I might have not even had the damage potential left to take out those enemies. For this game I earned 5,000 silver and 3,833 experience without any multipliers. In this game I dealt 2,867 damage, assisted with 32 damage and destroyed 6 enemies while blocking 410 damage. This earned me High Caliber, Mastery Badge Ace Tanker and Top Gun. I placed at the top of my team earning a base XP of 1,176. That is fantastic for the Defiance Matilda on a defeat. I managed to hit 72 of my 79 shots and penetrate 55 of those. There were a lot of convenient situations there so I didn't waste too many shots. In terms of crew and module damage, I injured the driver and the Hetzer, injured the radio operator and the KV-1S, and damaged the fuel tank and injured the radio operator and the KV-1. Well that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed seeing that game with the Defiance Matilda. Some incredible opportunities there to unleash this tank's damage potential. It's not too often you get that many close range targets to farm up, especially ones that aren't even paying attention to you for most of the game. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos. Thank <laughs> you.